Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking in the background, that is my sweet little print in place spinner. I've got an idea for some upgrades, so let's get cracking. So my friends, if you haven't completed the first lesson, I will have a link up above. The first lesson teaches you how to quickly build this little dude. Then what I did was I duplicated them with Control D, move it to the side so I never wreck my original, and then you ungroup, and then I'm gonna hide the middle because I don't want to adjust it. I'll hide my letters too. And then I can ungroup and make a brand new shape from this one. To make this a little quicker, I'm gonna hide that, and I just wanna delete this shape I used earlier. So other shapes I experimented with. This is a tube. Let me ungroup it, and I'll show you how it spun way past. I just changed the numbers till it looked the way I wanted, and then when I grouped those outside edges, boom, we get this awesome design that is really a pretty sweet optical illusion when you spin it. This one right here, I will ungroup as well. Notice it has a sweet dome shape that rounds it. So I'm gonna hide this for just a moment. If you look at this, when they group, they would have sharp edges right there. So what I did was I took two half spheres, I made one a solid, I'm gonna do Control D, and I'm gonna make the second one a tiny bit smaller by doing Shift Shrink, and I'm gonna make it a hole. I'm gonna grab them both and make sure they're aligned center and center and I'm gonna do D to make sure they're at the bottom so if we look underneath you can see that we can see both and then when we group this it gives me this rounded out bowl shape that I could trim with now I just used my shift shrink and also my alt shift shrink and go to find the exact right number I made it a hole and then it trimmed those edges and made it look really sweet so I'm gonna bring this all back with the light bulb. I'm gonna delete this part because I don't need it. And I'm gonna group this whole fidget spinner so you can see it again. Watch those corners get trimmed off so it's a lot more fun to hold. So the moral of the story is you can add anything to these as long as you make sure they're on the edges and they group. Right now, we're gonna add text to the outside of our cute little spinner. I'm going to take these two pieces, the MH and the middle, and I'm going to keep them as a group. I do want to change the MH to Mod Tech, so I'm going to put Mod. I found that I like having that on top of them because I can give them away. Nobody really wants one that has my initials on it. So I'm going to hit a line and make sure I've got that centered. Notice it's a little bit hanging over. So I'm going to click on this side and use the black handle to squeeze it in. Once again, shift select, scroll back, and align that. And I'm going to group it. And then I'm going to lock it so I cannot mess with it anymore. That way it's in a safe spot and I can play with my cool spinner. Friends, we're going to take this spinner and almost instantly we're going to add text to it. What I want you to do is go down to all shapes switch to page two and find the cool little text ring so when we bring out our piece of text let's first make it a whole let's note that there are fonts you can play with i'm going to stay with bebas and then i'm going to change the words just say something cool for me which would be get cracking i'm going to put extra spaces between the words notice it is huge i'm going to change the text gap and notice this makes them come closer together. So that's closer to how I want it to work with that text gap. And then, this is one of the coolest things. I'm going to select all those pieces, and I'm going to align them to the orange one. So there's my center and my center, and I'll do the vertical center too. There is a key combination called Alt-Shift that shrinks it around the center. So notice now I am pushing it into the shape, and right there you can see where it started to cut in. That's how you set it up. Now I'm going to stretch it so it's taller, and then I am going to finish by clicking Align, pick my master, and center it vertically. Friends, 
That's how to add text around your shape. I'm going to grab just the outside too. Notice it says two shapes. And when we click group, all of a sudden, I have got a pretty spiffy Get Kraken keychain. How cool is that? Before we go on, let's make sure that we're not cutting in too far. I'm going to turn on transparent. And I just want to make sure, I'm going to look at this from the top, that I didn't put the text in so far that it interferes with our cones that are in the center of our cylinder. Real quickly, I'm going to shut off that transparency. And then friends, if you're in my room, remember to make sure you only click the shape that you just made and then hit export. And you need to export that STL and put it in our STL folder using the quick access. Make sure you do label it right. This is going to be called Get Kraken. And I'm going to put my initials too so I know how it is. And if you want a color, you can put the color after it. If I do have the color, I will print it that color. If I don't, you're going to get whatever color I give you. Alrighty, friends, so there you have it. So much opportunity for you to make these fidgets so incredible. Have fun, explore, find shapes better than the tube. There are so many cool things you can play with. You just need to explore and find all the things that are available. Friends, if you do make something awesome, make sure you take time to share it with me. I can be reached at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me at Twitter at HLTinkerCAD. Lastly, if you visit the HLModTech.com website, you can use the messaging service and share projects there as well. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.